jail. Hi, kids. I decided to have this fancy tea party like all the kings and queens in England. So I bought this book by Contessa von Barksela. Now, she's supposed to be an authority on tea party etiquette. I mean, after all, she is a Contessa, whatever that is. Anyway, the party's going to get started as soon as Freddie gets here. I wonder where Freddie is. You know, this book says that a tea party is supposed to start at a precise time. Patient, Sonny. He will come. You see, I told you. Hello, Master Freddy. How are you? <laughs> Master Freddy. Put this on. Please, won't you join the Honorable Bill and me for a spot of tea? Could I have some lemonade instead? Freddy, I don't know. Oh, you are supposed to kiss my hand. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's gonna be lots of tea. <laughs> Look at all these spoons. <laughs> what is wrong, Sonny? I'm so confused. You know where I come from. Tea is quite customary. Is there some way I might be of assistance? Well, I just don't know which cup and saucer to, to pour the tea in or, or what to put in all these glasses. Maybe they're for playing music. I think he's got something. What? Throw the book away. Throw the book away? This shows me how to have the perfect tea party. What does this book know of a sunny tea party? You're right. I don't need a book to show me the kind of party I want to have. I know exactly the kind of party I want to have. And speaking of parties, Alfred is throwing one over at Johnson and Friends. Let's see what kind of party they're having over there. good at everything he did. He was good at reading, although he didn't know the words yet, just the letters. And he was very good at golf. The other toys were quite in awe of him. Four! Yay! Yeah, terrific. Great, Johnson. It went straight in. What a clever elephant. Oh, it's just luck, Macduff. Not luck, Diesel. Skill and patience. Patience? What's that? Well, patience is staying calm and um, taking your time. Here, you try and see just how easy it oh is. Oh, boy, I can't wait to see this. <laughs> nah, <clears throat> I think I'll do it my own way, if you don't mind, Johnson. Great shot! <laughs> I think I like golf after all. Oh, you're supposed to knock it into the waste paper basket. 
Yes, but the window's much bigger. Oh, and now you've lost my golf ball. Look, Johnson, it's simple. You can get a golf ball into a waste paper basket. I can't. Johnson, you always do everything so well, you make me feel silly. Come on, Macduff. Coming, Diesel. Johnson, now you've made Diesel feel silly. I don't try to make Diesel feel silly, Macduff. If he was patient, he could do all the things I can do. Ha! Huh. Diesel? Patient? Hmm. What Diesel needs is something he can do that doesn't need skill or patience. Hey, Diesel, hmm. wait for me. Hmm. Something that doesn't need skill or patience. Oh, I wonder what that could be. Unfortunately for Johnson, he was just about to find out. Macduff, Diesel, do you want to have an invitation to my fancy dress party? Oh, what's that? What's a fancy dress party? Well, it's where you dress up as something strange and unusual. Oh. Does it take uh, skill and patience? Oh, no, not at all, Diesel. It requires imagination and dressing up. And the sillier you look, the better. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something I could do then. <laughs> we'll come. Yeah. Oh, good. Good, good, good. <laughs> oh, one more thing. What? There's a prize for the most strange and unusual costume. Oh, wow. Yes. A prize for the most strange and unusual costume. I'd sure like to win that. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> The toys loved birthday parties and Christmas parties and going away parties and staying put parties. But Alfred's fancy dress party promised to be new and different. And the toys spent the rest of the day eagerly preparing their costumes. <laughs> I can't decide whether to be one of those Egyptian mummies in Michael's book or a hmm. hospital patient. Well. Both are covered in bandages, mm -hmm. and so are you. Mm -hmm. So, you can go as both. <gasps> that means I might win two prizes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what about me, Johnson? Do you think I might win a prize? I don't think they give prizes for talking boxes, Diesel. <laughs> I'm not a talking box. I'm a garage. See, my door's open. <laughs> What are you going as, Johnson? I thought I might go to the party as a painter. Oh. Johnson, you're supposed to go to a fancy dress party as something strange and unusual. And, well, you look like that every time you paint. Oh, I suppose you're right. The problem is, I can't think of anything to wear. <laughs> we'll soon fix that. <laughs> Johnson, now. hold your arms out. <laughs> Too bad about the trunk. <laughs> McDuff and Diesel had great fun finding Johnson a costume for the fancy dress party. <laughs> there, you can go as a birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> I feel silly. <laughs> oh, silly, eh? That's good. That's exactly how I feel when you try to teach me all those games of skill and patience which I can't play. Oh, well, I just don't feel comfortable looking silly. Then you're going to have an awful time at the fancy dress party, Johnson, because the rest mm. of us are going to look really silly, and we're going to have tons of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Diesel. Okay. Vroom. But, uh, but wait. No, not there, Diesel. No, no, no. Where do you want this building block? As the toys gathered for the fancy dress party, Johnson still didn't have a costume. He was very sorry he'd made his friend feel silly, even though he hadn't meant to. But he didn't want to miss out on the party, either. I don't care how silly I look. I'm going to that party. Hmm. Now, there must be something in one of these drawers I can wear. Hmm. Let's try this one. Johnson tugged at the drawer with all his strength. He could be a very strong elephant when he wanted to be. Did I frighten you? I'm a ghost. 
one more boo like that, Squeaky, and I'll run you over and squash you flat. <laughs> <laughs> right, everybody, gather around in your positions, please. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Testing. One, one. One, one. The fancy dress party was a great success. Ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to announce the winner of the Silliest Costume Award. Well, get on with it. Who are you, Alfred? Uh, I'm old King Cole, Macduff. Oh, very oh. good. You sure look silly, Alfred. <laughs> Not half as silly as you, Squeaky. <laughs> Settle down, everybody. Now, the winner of the Silliest Costume Award is... Yes, yes. Oh, where's Johnson? He couldn't come, Alfred. Yes, he felt silly dressing up. Mm. Oh, well, that's a toy elephant for you, I suppose. Always worrying. Ha! Now, the winner of the Silliest Costume Award is... Oh. Is... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hurry up, Alfred. Uh, the winner is... Oh, I can't read these scribbles. Oh. Uh, I'll just turn on this lamp. That's not a lamp cord. That's my trunk. Oh. <laughs> it's me! Do I look silly enough? You sure do. Silly's the word, all right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my firm belief that Johnson looks silly enough to be the silliest costume award winner! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Johnson, I'm really glad you made it to the party. Did your costume take a lot of skill and patience? No. But I did learn a valuable lesson today. What was that, Johnson? To be in the right place at the right time. The lampshade fell on me. <laughs> <laughs> After that, Johnson found he was even good at being silly. And that was the best skill of all. And the toys were never in awe of him again. <laughs> Now, back to our show. One night, while Michael was tucked up in bed fast asleep, his parents held a dinner party in the dining room at the far end of the hall. There are six of Johnson and Macduff mm. gathered by the bedroom door to watch well, and no, listen. What's all this noise and commotion going on? Michael's parents are having a dinner party. Oh, sounds like a perfectly silly idea to me. Oh, look! They've got candles on the table and they're dancing. How romantic. Ooh. It must be great to be a real grown-up and have real dinner parties. Yes, with with real conversations and, and real oh. food. And don't forget the real washing up and the real cleaning up afterwards. I wish Michael was old enough to have a real dinner party in his bedroom. He's still too young, but that doesn't mean we can't. Huh? We'll have a toy dinner party. Yes. Oh, with food? I can't see why not. And oh. real dressing up? Yes. Oh. And sparkling conversation. Wow! The next morning, the toys busied themselves preparing for the dinner party. Mm. <laughs> oh, 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 Diesel, have you seen Michael's beach bucket? I thought we could use it as a salad bowl. <laughs> Sorry, Johnson, too busy. Got to cook. <laughs> but, but, oh, uh, Diesel. Oh. Ah, there's Michael's beach bucket. Johnson wants that. Oh, no, 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 no. I need the beach bucket to make my soup. Huh? Soup? What's in it? It smells delicious. Mm. Well, of course there's water, because I've got plenty of that. <laughs> and then there's my secret ingredients. What secret ingredients, Alfred? You'll find out later tonight, Squeaky. 
Can't we cook something, too? Oh, well, there is the uh, spaghetti and meatballs. Yummy! I've seen Michael eat that before, and I know just how to do it. Oh, good, McDuck. Well, you go off and make it. And, let's see, for dessert, uh, a bright yellow custard, I think. What do you say? A bright yellow custard? <laughs> Come on, Squeaky. I know just the thing. I'm coming, Diesel. Oh, good. <laughs> oh. Yum, yum, yum. This is going to be some dinner party. That night, while Michael's parents held one of their dinner parties, for once, the toys weren't envious, because they were having one of their own. Oh, Such a good like idea. It's so oh, exciting. Victoria. Is everybody Pleasure. ready? <laughs> good, evening. good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Simply marvelous. Oh, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Shall we go in together, Alfred? Oh, yes, uh, we this should. Way, uh, may I say you look like a beautiful market. for a dinosaur? <laughs> Rather <laughs> in inclement <laughs> weather. Water bottle. Yes, the weather oh. has been a little cloudy lately, hasn't it? A little free dinner drink for anyone. Oh, yes, please. First, there were the drinks that Victoria supplied, and Johnson gallantly proposed a toast. Well, here's to all the toys in all the bedrooms of the world. I only hope they're having just as fine a time tonight as we are. Oh, Gee. here, here. Well said, that man. Couldn't have put it better myself. <laughs> What's in this drink, Victoria? It tastes like mud. It is mud. Melissa brought in a fresh supply just this morning. Oh, and delicious mud it is, too. Why, thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, it does have a rather fresh, muddy bouquet. <laughs> well, I'm starving. Yes. Come on, let's see what's for dinner. Ooh, what have we first? The soup. Ooh. It's sock soup, actually. It's my favorite recipe. What's in it? It smells like one of Michael's dirty socks. Oh, yes, it's his dirtiest. I've been oh. soaking it for hours. Ew, yeah. Mm. Ooh, it's very strong, isn't it? Mm, yeah, I think I'll pass on the soup, Victoria. Ooh, and spaghetti and meatballs. Who made mm. that? I did, Johnson. I didn't know there was any spaghetti in the bedroom. There isn't, Squeaky. These are Michael's shoelaces. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the meatballs? Marvels! Oh, I should have known. <laughs> and this is the roast. Oh! oh. Ta-da! Oh, that's Michael's sneaker. Oh, it looks just like a roast, doesn't it? Well, obviously, you've never seen a roast. Oh, now, what have we got for dessert? Ah, here it is. Ta-da! Bright yellow custard. Mm. Oh, it certainly looks custardy. It's the <laughs> brightest yellow paint in Michael's paint box. Oh. Yeah. Well, I think that... Oh, uh, attention. Yeah. Attention, please. Thank you. Right. Now, I'd just like to say we might only be toys, but I don't think any toy has ever turned out such a magnificent feast. Here, oh, yes. Here, here. Yes, yes, yes. I think Michael's parents would be very envious if they knew. Oh, I agree. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So the only thing left to do is eat. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm really looking forward to this. Oh, yes, the dinner party was a great success. Of course, the toys could pretend to eat things that people never would. I was reading a very interesting <laughs> book the other day, Victoria. Have you enjoyed yourself tonight? Oh, pardon me. Oh. There's still a little bit of spaghetti hanging out of your hood, Oops. Diesel. <laughs> Thanks, Macduff. Gee, you want to dance? <laughs> a few minutes later, all the toys were dancing. When the temperature is falling, when the weather's looking grim, Michael's mother boils the kettle and fills me to the brim. Baby, the bedroom clothes are gently warm to sleep. Michael slips in there beside me. Ah, get down. Well, 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 well,
It was nearly Michael's bedtime when the dinner party finally broke up. Some of the toys were asleep already as Victoria headed back to Melissa's room. Good night, Victoria. It was a lovely party. Good night, Victoria. Good night, McDuff. Good night, Johnson. Good night. Ah, oh, what a charming dinner guest, Johnson. Victoria's done such a lot of interesting things. Yes. You'd better come inside, McDuff. Ah, oh, Michael's parents' dinner party is almost over, too, Johnson. That means Michael will be coming mm. to bed soon. Oh, no. We've still got all this clearing up to do. Oh, I'll do that. You're tired. Oh, oh. Mm. This was one of the nicest evenings we've mm -hmm. ever had in this bedroom, Johnson. <laughs> we should have lots more dinner parties. Yes, I suppose we can until we run out of socks and shoes oh. and shoelaces. Then we'll have nothing left to eat. <laughs> Macduff? Oh. <laughs> but Macduff had fallen asleep. It wasn't long before Johnson was fast asleep, too. Oh. And that's how Michael found them when he finally came to bed. We'll be right back. Take off on the wings of fun and adventure. Come on. Don't miss Budgie the Little Helicopter on the Fox Clubhouse starting Thursday, October 19th on Fox Kids. And now, back to our show. Time. Okay, now this is how the men do. Okay, circle me. And you can put your hands on your hips sometimes. Oh, I love this. Oh, my goodness. You know, Johnson was right. Being silly is so much fun. But right now, we have work to do. We have a tea party to throw. Juice of the sun. That's orange juice. There's something missing. What could it be? Cookies. I'll go get some cookies. Cookies. I mean... Cookies. I go get some cookies. Morsels of the moon. Oh, boys and girls, with Bill's help and Freddy, I was able to change this whole cub house into the jungles of Hawaii. Now, this is my kind of party. I'm going to see you next time. Bye-bye. Time to 